Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see, I have a very beat face today. We are not doing a hair video today. Finally, we're doing um, some different content. I'm coming at you guys with another makeup video. I only have a couple makeup videos on my channel, but today we are focused on trying new products and just seeing the difference that my makeup has because in my previous video and just period, I use a lot of drugstore makeup, but I want to start expanding my horizons and start getting into better quality makeup. And it definitely has made a difference and I love it. I love it. So you guys are going to watch me try some new products today, do a full face. And yeah, if you're liking what you see right now, definitely continue watching the video. I loved filming it. I love my makeup. It's definitely giving beat. It's definitely giving high quality. Okay all right so if you want to see how i got this look and exactly what products i used and tried out just continue watching this and i will see y'all let's get into it hi you guys so i probably already gave a little intro let you guys know what i'm doing today i'm doing an updated full coverage makeup look i don't want to say every day because this is gonna be like more full coverage than i would do on an everyday basis so it's really just a full face beat um and i'm trying out some new products because i got some new products and i'm excited to try them so i wanted to do it on camera and see how the look came out sorry if the lighting is like not the best because it's very bright outside it's not the best but we're gonna work with what we got and i also do not have a mirror in front of me so i'm going to have to use something like this to look at myself so don't mind that as well but yeah we're just gonna jump into it and my makeup has probably changed i only have a couple makeup videos on my channel but i know it's changed since i posted those so this is kind of like an updated full face beat makeup tutorial from yours truly so yeah i'm gonna just jump into it and first i'm gonna start off with eyebrows so for eyebrows nowadays i don't do much to my eyebrows i haven't got my eyebrows done in forever like it's probably been a year i haven't gotten them threaded anything because i just like the thickness in my brows that i have right now and i'm scared if i get them done that they're gonna look thin and my thickness is gonna be gone so all i've been doing for my eyebrows lately is just using a brow gel and then concealing under i rarely even use a pencil or anything to fill it in so yeah but i might do that today since it's like a full face beat but it's literally just gonna be a little bit a little bit but yeah so i'm gonna start off with this brow gel and this is the color pop boss brow gel i've had this forever i'm just gonna start by applying this and this is what it looks like. It's kind of white. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it be getting the job done for me. I'm just going to take this and literally brush my hairs exactly where I want them to go. Looks a little white, but we're going to fix it. All right, boom, I lied. I'm not gonna fill them in. I'm already liking how they're looking a little bit. So next, I'm just going to conceal under my brows. I bought some new concealer. Actually, I used to use my regular regular LA Girl Pro. That's my girl, she been with me, <laughs> thick and thin. But I've been trying out some, you know, more expensive concealers so today we're gonna be using this NARS one and also the born this way concealer I'm gonna use this under my eyes though this is very light as y'all can see we are gonna use that for a little bright under eye moment but yeah I actually have been using this I've tried this um, I wish I would have got a little bit of a lighter color but it'll do we're gonna see how this goes I'm just gonna swipe a little bit under my eyes well under my eyebrows and I actually am gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro I'm sorry <laughs> so 
so I just went in with a tiny bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You can see the difference in the color. The LA Pro is lighter than the NARS, but the NARS is still a pretty good shade. And then I'm gonna take this little flat brush that I use to sculpt my brows. And I'm just going to start to carve my brow out and get it exactly how I want it with that concealer. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna drag the concealer down. Once I carve on my brows, I just like to go down the middle and kind of create the separation in my brows and exactly where I want them to start basically. Now that I have my brows carved out, I'm gonna take this little blending brush. My brushes are dirty, y'all, sorry. But I'm just gonna take this and blend that concealer out and also bring it down to my whole eyelid. And I like to bring it up and kind of fade out the start of my brow so it's not as harsh. I just like to go over it with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is blended nicely and seamlessly. And to set my eyelids, I'm going to go in with my Sacha Buttercup powder. I like this powder. I think I have used this before, but... It wasn't really, I just tried it out. It wasn't a part of my routine for real, but I think I like this powder. I like the color and I think it's gonna become a part of my routine from now on. But yeah, it's the perfect shade for me personally. So I'm just gonna go in and tap that into my eyelid just to set them a little bit. And honestly, I don't even think I want to do eyeshadow with this look. Usually, I would just go in with like a neutral little brown. But I don't even think I want to do that. We're literally just going for a cute, simple beat. No eyeshadow. I might put some bronzer on my lid a little bit later. But that's about it. So, I'm just taking this brush and kind of setting that in. But also dusting it away. The powder that we just put down so next we're gonna start with our base and i'm going to start with a primer i already did i did my whole skin routine today so my skin is feeling real good um i moisturized and i'm gonna go in with this primer i have not used this primer for like i used it for the first time yesterday but yesterday it was like a little light beat and i didn't even keep my makeup on for long so we're really gonna test this today and we're gonna see how good it keeps my makeup on because i've heard good things about this stuff is very sticky which it is and but yeah i just want to see how long my makeup will really last because of this primer so i'm just gonna go in with a few drops of this and rub that in look how it runs down It's very sticky. I love that. <laughs> Gonna go in with this NARS foundation. This is in the shade New Caledonia. And I do think that this shade is way too dark for me. But, you know, I bought it a minute ago. And I don't even think I bought it in stores. I bought it online and I just picked the shade. I don't know why I did that. But I think this is way too dark for me. So we're gonna use... Um, a lighter shade of concealer to kind of combat that but yeah i'm just gonna do a few drops of this because 
NARS this is some good foundation I think it's it's very full coverage like it does the job well I think it's like medium coverage but like it really does the job so I'm just gonna do like the slightest bit of drops of this um just enough to get me by because I don't really like foundation like that anyway I'm not really a foundation girly but you know this is a full beat so we gonna go with it To brighten it up just a little bit, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this LA Girl Pro Conceal that we used on the eyelid earlier. And I'm really just going to put random, just with little random swipes. That was already a lot of foundation. Like, it was way more than I wanted to use. But it's okay. I'm going to go in with this foundation brush. I love this to blend out my foundation. And I'm just going to blend it all together. And hopefully I don't look crazy in the end. And I'm putting like the tiniest amount on my forehead because I don't really like makeup on my forehead either. I feel like it's a little unnecessary for me personally. And I also made sure to get that neck. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender just to blend it a little bit more. All right, okay. I feel like I do look a little dark, but it's okay, it is okay. We're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna get to my favorite part, which is concealing. So I'm gonna take this NARS concealer once again, and I'm just gonna start to conceal. So I'm gonna go under my eyes, of course. Gonna go on my cupid's bow, a little on my chin, down my nose, and on my forehead. And then on top of that, I'm going to take the Born This Way concealer. I'm not even saying the shades of all of this stuff, but I will put it in the description box. So the color of the NARS concealer is Truffle. Truffle. And then the Born This Way concealer is in the shade Nude. So I'm going to take the Born This Way concealer and I'm going to go right over top of the NARS. But this, I'm going to focus under the eyes. I'm going to focus this one more in the corner. In the inner corners. That looks really light, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it in the other areas where I highlighted, but just not as much. Then once that's sat for a while and gets a little bit thicker, I'm gonna take the same brush I use to blend out the concealer under my brows, and I'm just gonna blend all of this out really, really good. All right, I know I look crazy, but I'm gonna go over that with my beauty blender and blend even more. Looking much better. 
So now I'm going to take this Juvia's Place bronzer and I just picked this up too. So this is new. I've never used this. So I'm excited and when you open it, there is two shades. There's like a brown one and then a darker brown one. So I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm going to bronze. And I think I'm just going to take a mixture of the two and just go in. <laughs> And a little bit down here. Oh. Then I'm gonna take this smaller brush and I'm gonna go into both of the colors and then just go down the bridge of my nose to kind of contour it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go straight into my Sasha Buttercup and start to set. All right, so I have the Sacha Buttercup powder, and then I'm gonna take this lighter powder. This is the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder, and I'm gonna take this and go over top of the Sacha just to light up some areas. So I'm gonna take this in the inner corners of my eye, or my under eye. Also on my cupid's bow and down the bridge of my nose and a small little bit on my forehead. So while that powder is setting in and baking, I'm going to circle back to my eyes and I'm going to apply some lashes. But first we're going to do some mascara and then pick out the lashes. I don't even know what lashes I'm going to wear. But yeah. Oh yeah, before we do that, let me... Go in with the same brush that I use for the bronzer and just go in on my eyelids a little bit to bring some color back to those so they're not just bare. I'm going in with this I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I think I got this on Amazon. <laughs> so but it says Essence is the company. But I like this mascara. It's very good. And the packaging is pink. Love that. So yeah, I'm just going to go in a little bit just to define my eyelash hairs. Not too much because we're putting lashes on top. Also going to take a little bit and go on my bottom lashes. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm just going to take this NARS eyebrow pencil. And I'm also going to go... And with that, just a little bit in my waterline, it's black. So I just want to define my waterline just a little bit. Now I'm going to pick out my lashes and I'm going to apply those off camera because I just get odds. <laughs> pull up, pull up, pull up Alright, so I chose these lashes. I think I got these from like a hair company actually. I think they came with a wig, but these were one of the cuter ones. Because you know, them wigs they be sending, the lashes they be sending with them wigs be a little ridiculous sometimes. But these are actually cute. So I'll go ahead and put these on and come back and show y'all. Alright, I actually went with some different lashes, but the lashes are on. That was low-key a struggle. 
but they're on per this is making me want some lash extensions but all right boom now it's time to dust away this powder finally i'm gonna go in with this sephora palette it's just a regular contour palette and it has three different shades and so i like to go in with the middle one to set my face and dust off the powder so this one right here and brush it away I'm gonna go in one more time with the brush that I use to bronze and just bring that warmth back in one more time. And here is my favorite, favorite part. We're gonna go on to blush. I also just picked this up. This is the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush. And I got it in the shade Peach Rose. Y'all, this is so pretty. I love me some blush and I love me some pink. And this is like the perfect pretty pink. I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to do too much. But I am a blush girly. So I'm very excited to use this. So I'm just going to do like three little dots and see where that gets me. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I don't want to overdo it. All right. Ah! That looks like a lot. It's very pigmented. It's very, very pigmented. Oh, that might have been too much. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go on with a different one to blend this out. Oh. Oh, that was a lot, y'all. Okay, we can we can save it. Y'all, I look like a clown. I'm gonna go on with the brush with the beauty blender I've been using the whole time so I can kind of get some makeup back in there. Hold on, let me go on with my foundation brush. Did I mess up my makeup, y'all? Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. Let's just go on to the other side. <laughs> it's so pretty though, y'all. Y'all saw what it looks like when I put that on. Maybe I'll just do like two dots over here. All right, so that was liquid. I'm going to go over, I know, more blush. I'm going to go over it with a powder blush. And I'm going to go in with this Violet Voss blush. This is a really good one too. It's just a palette. But I like to use these two colors. Again, they're pinks. It's very pigmented. And I love it. So I'm just going to go in with this brush that doesn't really like. It just glides in on there just a little bit. So I'm just going to go into these two colors. And just pat that on there. I think that looks good. I like it. Okay, brr. All we have to do now is set our face and do some highlights. So I'm just going to go in with this. I just picked this up randomly. I do want to try different setting sprays though I plan on getting new ones soon I want to try the Patrick Star one size one but right now we just have this beauty supply store um it's kiss it's a matte finish setting spray and I'm just gonna go in with this all over of course heavy with it okay let that dry for one second I like the blush. It's giving. The blush is blushing. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so while my face is a little bit damp but not too wet, I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. And this is the Morphe highlighter. I've been using this forever. I plan to get a new highlighter as well because, baby, it's gone. It cracked. I had to throw it away. And now we're scraping edges. So, 
I'm gonna take this on this little brush here and highlight different points of my face, my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead just a little bit, under my eyebrow, my cheeks, and I just like to put a little bit in my inner corners. and the face is done babe now we just have to go on to the lid i'm not really a lip girl i don't really do color on my lips i'm more of a liner and lip gloss type of girl um i was gonna try to do a lid today but mm, should i all right y'all this is the lip that we came up with i absolutely hate it but besides that the whole makeup look looks really good y'all this lip is killing me i'm not gonna lie i'm about to take it off yeah, I can't. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Let me go back in with the pencil real quick because that was just ugly. And then I'm going to just go on with my lip gloss. Much better. Alright, so this is the finished makeup look, you guys. Um, I enjoyed using all those new products. I feel like you can definitely see a difference in my makeup from, you know, using better products. And, yeah. I'm trying to transition from being just a drugstore girly to being, like, a higher-end brand girly. Drugstore is always going to be my... I love me some drugstore makeup. But, you know, I just wanted to experiment, start stepping up my makeup game so my face can reflect that. <sighs> Please. But, yeah, I just wanted to start experimenting with some better quality makeup and see if I could see the differences. And I definitely can. I feel like this is a good beat face right here. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked this. I loved filming this. I haven't done a makeup video in a minute. If you guys want to see more makeup-related content from me, definitely let me know. Like this video if you haven't already. Drop a comment. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you would like to see from me. Makeup-related, hair-related, anything under the sun. Subscribe if you have not already. Click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.